Hi, my name is Jean-William Bergevin and welcome to the Portable Winch Studio. Every year we are doing a lot of trade shows, uh, meeting you guys in different in those different events. I probably spoke with you a couple of times and uh, uh, the same question always come back uh, re regarding how can I increase the power of my winch? Uh, can I use pulleys? Do I use my pulley at the load? Do I use it in a tree? Uh, how does that work? And these are all great questions. And uh, today I'm really happy uh, to show you this video because we will be able to explain you um, how, how, how to install your pulley to double, triple, or even quintuple the power of your, of your winch. Um, so because the portable winch has no limit in, in the length of rope that you can use, double your line or triple it becomes a really uh, good option. It's very simple and it's very powerful when you understand the basics. So again, this video will be about showing you how to do it at home really easily. Um, also, what you need to understand is pulley has not been invented by portable winch. It's a very old concept, very ancient. And the first mention of a pulley in history books dates from 870 years before Christ. So I can tell you, my friend, this uh, pr principle, this concept has made us proof. So now let's look at this in detail. Pulleys can be used in two ways. You can use a pulley to deviate your rope or your load, and you can also use a pulley to multiple the power. Um, but first, before we go further in this video, I want to uh, you, I want that we all agree on the language and the specification we're going to use today. So today we will talk by using the, the specification of the PCW 5000. The PCW 5000 can pull 1000 kilogram or 2200 pound in a single line. When we're talking about single line, we're going from the load directly to the winch. This is a single line. There is no mechanical advantage to it and it's only the power of the winch. Next slide, please. Um, so let's go into uh, the subject of deviation. So first of all, when you use a pulley of deviation, you're gonna use it for a few reasons. It can be to, uh, to go around an obstacle. So obviously uh, the, pulley will, the pulley will be uh, helping you going around that obstacle, or you can use <clears throat> a pulley like this, so in a tree, to bring up your rope, to make sure that it doesn't uh, touch to sharp object like rocks, uh, roots, or any other obstacle that would be in the way. So by doing that, you're helping yourself because with the pulley a little bit higher, it's also lift the load a little bit, reducing friction. So using a deviation pulley is always a good idea. If, you, if we look at it in real life, this is what it looks like. So. We have a logger here that is obviously putting some logs uh, one on top of each other and he's using a, a deviation pulley uh, for, for a really obvious reason is he doesn't want to be in behind his pile of wood. He wants to be on the side. He has a better view of what's happening. The pulley is lifting the load so it's going to be easier to put that log on top of uh, the other one. Uh, so you can see that there's very there's many uh, advantage to it. Also, a very uh, interesting advantage of using a deviation pulley is that all the shock and the feeling that your load is going to go from left to right will be absorbed by the pulley. So the logs, when you're pulling uh, pulling the logs, it often happens that it wants to go right, left, up, and down. Uh, so the pulley will uh, will hit will get all the shock. Uh, and the, the, your line between the pulley and the winch will be very stable, allowing the logger, the user, to have a very nice pull, easy and very stable. So these are all good reason to use a deviation pulley and I recommend that you use it as often as possible. And now our main subject, how to create a mechanical advantage or a block and tackle system. So here we have a nice diagram showing you how uh, to create a mechanical advantage of two for one. So again, we're using the PCB 5000 that is really well anchored to a tree and is going to a load through a pulley and then back to an anchor point. In this case, it's the same tree. If it's strong enough, that's fine. Um, so we have two strain of rope, each receiving the maximum capacity of the winch of 1000 kilogram or 2200 pound. So each strain of rope is going to the load for a total of 
of ap applicated force to the load of 4,400 pounds or 2,000 kilograms. So the things that you that are very important to remember in that uh, diagram is that the first pulley needs to be at the load and that your strain of rope are as parallel as possible. So if you can remember those two important uh, facts, you will assure yourself that your block and tackle system is always efficient. We have tried um, recently to put it as simply as possible. So we did a really uh, quick video of what it of theoretically what a block and tackle will will give you as an advantage so here i'm trying to pull a pickup truck by myself just pulling on the rope so we can see i'm struggling big time but then i call a good friend of mine christian to help me pull the pickup truck and now we have two strain of rope two person pulling the truck and it's much easier but you don't necessarily have to be Two person you can again be one person but just using the right uh the right concept the right system and by doing so uh you will be able to pull it like you're two person but you're alone so the way i did it is i'm i'm pulling here i have a i have a pulley at the pickup and i'm reattaching the end of my rope to a fixed point just as we've seen in the diagram so you can see it's much easier for me now it's like i'm two person pulling the truck so again if we look at it ther theoretically we have the winch the first pulley to the anchor point and back to a fixed point so if you can remember those those two uh important facts you will uh, be able to always have a very efficient system another thing that you need to co to consider is that if your strain of rope are not parallel, you will you will lose in pulling power. Each time you open your angle, you lose some power until you're at 90 degrees and now you're not uh, having any mechanical advantage. You're just deviating your rope. So here we have another diagram showing you how to do a, a block and tackle with a three for one mechanical advantage. So it's basically, it's the same concept. It's just that instead of anchoring your rope to a fixed point here, you anchor a fixed pulley. And that pulley is redirecting your rope to your load. So each strain of rope, again, will receive 1,000 kilogram and for a total of 3,000 kilogram or 6,600 pounds. Again, if we see it in, uh, in, in this kind of setup, so I'm going from the pickup truck back to a fixed pulley and then back again to my pickup truck so i have three strain of rope going to my pickup truck it's like having three jean william pulling the, the the pickup so i can tell you that in that setup pulling that six thousand pound truck was really easy it was like pulling a, a rope that has no tension on it now in real life what what it's how your block and tackle will react so here we we put a pickup truck in the mud uh, to create a, a really uh, great example so as you can see it's really stuck and i can tell you my friend we were we tried to get it out of it without the winch and didn't move so i really like that picture because and and that setup because it shows the two concepts we have seen today so far so it shows how to deviate your load so we're going from the winch to the pulley, then to the pickup truck, and then back to the same anchor point. So between our anchor point here with the winch, we are only redirecting our rope to the pickup, and we are using a two for one mechanical advantage between that pulley and that fixed point. Uh, the reason why we were installed there, it's because it gave us a really nice view on the setup. And also it's very safe because we're not behind the pickup truck as it's going to go back also as you can see in that picture the pickup is in the mud with an angle by using a deviation pulley there it allows us to put the pulley as high as possible so that way our pulling rope are, are having the same angle than our pickup so all the force we're going to apply to the pickup will will be to get it out of the mud 
again another picture so that's directly from behind the pickup as you can see so we are you, you can see the two strain of rope going to the pickup truck for a two for one mechanical advantage so now uh, we're going to see in action what will be the result using a winch and here my friends it's what real life look like i mean in in real life if you can you will use a winch and you will also you uh, having a friend have a friend giving some throttle to put all the chance you have uh to, to get the, the pickup out but if ever the, the pickup truck cannot uh cannot cannot start uh you will probably have to use more pulley to get it out and but you will be able to do it and as you can see we were able to get it out quite easy and here my friend is how you do it again my name is jean william and as you could see in this video as long as you have enough pulleys and rope there's no limit to what you can accomplish with a portable winch also if you would like to know more we have created a really nice pdf file that resume what we have seen today and goes even deeper into the subject using double snatch block pulley we uh, we encourage you to print it and bring it with you in the woods uh, so you always have a reference tool to uh, to create your own block and tackle system you can click in the link in the description of this video to find it of course if you have more question about the, this subject or you would like uh, to submit another idea of subject for the, our next video please don't hesitate to reach out at studio at portablewinch.com it will be a real pleasure for me to read you and answer your question and comments and of course, stay tuned for our next video.